Hey everyone, welcome to the hand calculation series. In this video, we are going to be discussing electrons and the formalism to calculate dose using electrons, uh, which we would use if we had a beam uh, that was an electron beam rather than a photon beam. So as a little bit of an introduction to the electron formalism, uh, it's very, very similar to the PDD formalism for photon dose calculation. So it has a lot of components that are similar uh, between the two. In addition, electrons are always treated in an SSD setup, so either that is going to be 100 centimeters or greater. And often they are treated at extended SSDs due to potential collisions that the patient may have with the applicator, which we'll see some examples of later. And we want to really minimize the distance between the applicator and the skin because the farther the skin is away from the tip of the applicator, uh, we get extreme penumbra widening, so we're getting dose outside the field, which we do not want. And that penumbra widening is typically caused by electron scatter, so electrons are very sporadic and change their direction easily, so they, that penumbra widens quite easily. Electron treatments are also always prescribed to the central axis, and they often include bolus to increase skin dose, and we'll, ex we'll see some examples of bolus in a little bit. And I kind of mentioned already, but the applicator is just a device used to reduce the number of scattered electrons, and they all often have cutouts placed in them. So a cutout is uh, basically the electron equivalent of a blocked field. So you'll place it into the applicator, and uh, that's what you'll use uh, to define some of your dose calculation parameters. So here are some examples of some applicators. On the left here, you can kind of see a smaller square applicator, and on the right, you can see a larger square applicator. Uh, but they don't have to be square. These are just some examples. You can have rectangular applicators, but these are just uh, square ones that I show here. And on the left now, I will draw, uh, rotate the gantry 90 degrees and uh, give you a beam's eye view of what they look like. This has a, an open cutout placed in there that defines the field size for this applicator. And on the right, this has a cerebin cutout in there. So the physician will draw that shape and then we will go ahead and create a cutout with that desired shape. So here's some example of bolus. It's kind of a jelly-like flexible structure that's able to conform to the patient's surface. And we can place this over the skin of the patient in order to achieve some desired dose level inside the patient or some desired dose fall off. And here's an example of what I mean by that. Say the physician wants to use a 12 MeV electron beam to treat some target uh, that has the shape that you see here. So the target is kind of located superficially and then you have some organ at risk that is located at a depth of Dmax. Um, what could we do to make sure the target is getting a high dose and the organ is getting a low dose? Well, we could change the beam energy, but the physician wants to use 12 MeV. So another thing we could do is we could use bolus. So if we place a bolus on the skin, that would shift the target to this position on the PDD and the organ at risk to this position. So the target would be getting a full dose and an organ at risk would be getting a lower dose. So this is just an example of how we can use bolus to shift the PDD curve. So let's jump into the dose calculation formalism here. So this is the equation for the dose calculation using an electron field. So it looks very similar to the photon uh, PDD formalism. Um, but rather than scatter factors here, we have the electron output factor, uh, but everything else is similar, but we don't have anything like a tray factor or a wedge because we would never use a wedge. Um, but yeah, this is the formalism here, and I'll write down a few of the terms here. So DREF is going to be your reference dose per monitor unit established during your calibration. MU is number of monitor units. EOF is your electron output factor, which is a function of your cone size and also your cutout size. Then you have a percent depth dose, or PDD, which is a function of your energy, beam energy, and the depth of calculation. Then you have an inverse square correction as well. And uh, we'll go over an example problem in another video, but uh, these are the factors that are included in an uh, in electron calc. And that is it for the introduction to the electron formalism. So please watch the other videos to learn a bit more about uh, the electron dose calculation formalism.